More women candidates than ever will contest United States governorships and House seats in November's midterm elections. After Tuesday's primaries across four states, there are now 11 female nominees for governor and at least 173 so far for the House. The results were hailed as a continuing success story by activists for women in politics. There was also a key election for a House seat in Ohio, in which President Donald Trump claimed victory. Also read, without France, Lebanon would probably be at war, Macron says but U.S. media said the race was still too close to call, in a safe Republican seat held by them since 1983. The outcome could indicate whether Democrats have a chance to overturn the Republican majority in the House in November. After polling closed in the four states holding primaries on Tuesday, Kansas, Michigan, Missouri and Washington, it became clear women had broken records for gubernatorial and House nominations. Victories for Gretchen Whitmer, Michigan, and Laura Kelly, Kansas, in Democratic primaries mean 11 women will contest governorships in November, one more than the previous 1994 record. At least 173 female major party nominees will run for the House, beating the record of 167 from 2016.